Thanks for joining us. Here are the business stories making headlines at this hour. I am Omobolanli Adeshui. The House of Representatives has agreed to summon the Auditor General of the Federation, Okoliabo Sylvia, over documentary evidence on the audit carried out on the money spent on fuel subsidy. This was disclosed by Representative Ibrahim Aliyu, the Chairman's Special Ad Hoc Committee on Fuel Subsidy in Abuja on Thursday. He stated that the committee is seeking relevant financial transactions on the fuel subsidy for the period under review. Representative Ibrahim Aliyu said the Auditor General is to appear before the panel on August 30 for an explanation on fuel subsidy payments between 2013 and 2022. They requested that the Auditor General provide documentary evidence on the audit carried out on the money spent on fuel subsidy by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC Limited, for the period. It also demanded AGF to provide relevant financial transactions on the fuel subsidy for the period under review, citing a bid to ensure fair hearing as enshrined in the law. The committee said it was expecting the AGF to appear before it on the 8th of September with relevant documents. The Federation's revenue from the oil and non-oil sector crossed the 1 trillion naira for the second month in July. The details of the revenue report from the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation show that the country raked 1.26 trillion naira in for the month. The figure represents a 36.9 billion naira increase from the 1.22 trillion naira revenue recorded in June. According to the breakdown, Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, made 292.8 billion naira, while the Nigeria Customs Service, NCS, made 190.26 billion naira for the month. On taxes revenue from the oil sector to the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, amounted to 191.7 billion naira, while the non oil sector contributed the highest for the month at 444.65 billion naira. For value added tax, FIRS made 190.26 billion naira, down from 208.15 billion naira, recorded in June 2022. For the seventh consecutive month in 2022, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited failed to contribute revenue to the Federation purse as subsidy payment eroded oil gains. And in spite of challenges faced by farmers and exporters, Nigeria exported products worth 1.77 trillion naira between January and June 2022 different to different parts of the world, according to the Nigerian Export Promotion Council. Executive Director of the NEPC, Dr. Ezra Yakusak, stated this in Abuja at a recent press briefing to announce the half-year performance report of the agency, as well as the non-oil sector. Yakusak said the country recorded a significant growth in non-oil exports as a total of 4.146 billion metric tons of product worth $2.5 billion were exported between January and June 2022. He said the figures were obtained from the non-oil export performance report of various shipment inspection agents who were appointed by the federal government to determine volumes, values, and destinations of Nigeria's non-oil exports. The executive director noted that urea fertilizer and cocoa beans were one of the top products exported. Power generation companies have blamed low power generation for the inability of the utility firms, also known as the DISCOs, to pay up the two trillion naira debt owed them. This was revealed by the Executive Secretary, Association of Power Generation Companies, Dr. Joy Ogaji, at the Association of Energy Correspondents of Nigeria annual conference held in Lagos on Thursday. While speaking during the conference, she argued that the Genkos were not owed 500 billion naira, as been reported, but two trillion naira. She further explained that the Genkos had not been able to make power available due to the huge debt being owed them by the Nigerian Bulk Electricity Trading PLC, NBIT. Ogadi further explained that although the Genkos currently had enough power generating capacity, the market was not available as the discos had not been able to take all power generated. NBET is the manager and administrator of the electricity pool in the Nigerian Electricity Supply Industry, NESI. 
It collects tariff on behalf of the market discos and the TCN. Despite huge gas resources currently hovering around 206 trillion standard cubic feet and ranking ninth in the world while accounting for about 3% of the world's total natural gas reserves, Nigeria is still dependent on cooking gas imports from the US, Algeria and Equatorial Guinea. This is one of the issues the federal government plans to resolve through its recently launched energy transition plan. An expert, however, believes that this may not be achievable owing to the prevailing challenges in Nigeria's energy sector. Energy Times publisher Dayo Ekundayo shared his thoughts earlier in the day on Ibrahim TV's Business Breakfast show. And one month after its transition to a commercial entity, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, has executed the agreement for the renegotiated uh, production sharing contract, PSC, with contractors and five oil mining leases, OMLs. When consummated, it is believed that the agreement would unlock over $500 billion in revenue to the government from the country's oil resources. Aside from the revenue opportunities, NNPC noted that the agreement in OMLs 128, 130, 132, 133 and 138 are set to unlock investment in the upstream sector and boost investors' confidence. Group Chief Executive Officer, NNPC Limited, Meli Kiari, said renegotiations of the assets were in line with Section 311 of the Petroleum Industry Act 2021, with other improvements to the PSCs aimed at driving performance in the PSC operations. Country chair shell companies in Nigeria, Osage Okumbo, described the execution of the OML-133 PSC contract as significant progress to harness the deep water resources. The National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, reports that the prices of most household items have increased with the average retail price per litre of household kerosene rising to 789 Naira 75 Kobo in July 2022 from the 761 Naira 69 Kobo recorded in June 2022, indicating an increase of 3.68%. In the document released on its website, the Bureau said that on a year-on-year -year basis, the average retail price per litre of the product rose by 98.76 percent from 397 Naira 34 Kobo in July 2021. 
But on state profile analysis, the highest average price per litre in July 2022 was recorded in Enugu with 1,003 Naira 68 Kobo followed by AKT with 989 Naira 58 Kobo and Oshun with 949 Naira 12 Kobo. On the other hand, the lowest price was recorded in Bayosa with 643 Naira 6 Kobo followed by Benue with 654 Naira 76 Kobo and Rivers with 655 Naira 24 Kobo.